Hey guys, welcome back. Or bomb here, bringing you another episode of our team preview series. Um, I was just I was just recording this a second ago and I lost it all. It was weird, <clears throat> but um, I'm just bringing you the same episode, uh, same team as yesterday from uh, King Typhlosion. Check out his YouTube. Um, same team. Uh, nicknames come from both. Um, what's his name? Uh, Wonderwin on on Showdown. Um, my friend Nathan, and then the other half comes from me. I named Vision. Get over here in Queen. He named Dopey Cerberus and Johnny Blaze. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and find a match. This team looks like um, this team is pretty good. I was I'm working with the Pokemon that I was given with, so I'm not trying to change out any Pokemon. I'm trying to maximize its potential. It does have a pretty bad weakness to like. Defensive defensive Arcanine runs a number on it. A combination of defensive Arcanine with like Snorlax it, um, does a pretty good number to it. So I have to be careful there. Tell this person good luck and to check out the channel. Um, let's see. He's got Scarf, Haxorus, probably Banded, Darmanitan. That thing's gonna hit like a truck. Uh, I have Dopey that could kind of take care of things, but. Um, he has the Oblivious. This thing, I might start with Infernape, just because of um, Close Combat Mock Punch. I'm not really seeing a need to use Infernape at all against, against this team. So I'm actually going to start with Infernape. Like, the only thing Infernape does for me is kill Mammoth Swine. It also kills Hydreigon, but like, it might, that's, that might be Scarf Hydreigon. It might be Life Orb Hydreigon too. I mean, the goal here is to um, get the Close Combat off and then finish it with a Mock Punch. It's, it's oblivious, most likely. Um, he doesn't have any safe switch-ins to a close combat, because it also destroys the Heliolisk. Uh, Heliolisk. I forgot that it was um, normal type 2. I gotta remember that. Anyways, there you go. Hopefully he doesn't earthquake. He goes for the rocks here. And let's see what happens. He does go for the earthquake. All right, that's fine, though. Um, because here... How fast are you? 284? Oh, you're faster than me. Um, what's faster than it? Oh, yeah, Cerberus. Here, I can safely go for the... I think I'm good to go for a Dragon Pulse, because I don't want a Draco Meteor and um, not secure any two shots. I could also Dark Pulse. But there's a lot of things that resist the Dark Pulse. So I'm just going to go for the Dragon Pulse here. Since I'm Scarfed, I should outspeed it. It's definitely not Scarfed, or else it would have outsped my Infinite. But if I can get rid of his rocks, that'd be amazing. He doesn't. He has a spinner in Blastoise, so once I get rid of Blastoise too, then I'm gonna be in a pretty good position because um, both these guys do not like taking rocks. Darmantan and uh, Heracross, they're not, they're not big rock fans. They're more of um, what's what's other stuff like the coffee shop music? Oh, he has Ice Shard. That's fine though. I'll knock it out with a Dragon Pulse. Cerberus is fine. I think Wish Support might be good. I'm not a big fan of um, from the looks of it. The team looks pretty solid, not gonna lie. I'm going to go here. Who's my special wall? Dopey's my special wall. I'm gonna get a Toxic off on this thing. Hopefully, he doesn't go into Heracross. That'd be a problem. Because Heracross kind of destroys my... Well, what's it called? My vision. So I can't even use my physical wall on this thing. There's a Dark Pulse. Um, I am just gonna go for a Toxic here. And hopefully he doesn't predict me and go into uh, Heracross, that'd be annoying. What else do I have? Against the Heracross, so I don't really have much. If it's Scarf, that thing's gonna sweep through my team. He does go for Scald here. Um, as long as he doesn't get any crits, I should be good to go for the Recover. Because I am doing more damage. I am recovering more than the damage he's taking out. Because he's only doing 36 with both Scald and, uh, and Dark Pulse. So Leftovers, always handy. But he did get the crit, like I said, I didn't want him to get, which is really unfortunate, but it's fine. It's part of the game. He said sorry, though, so that means he's a good guy. I can't knock him out yet. I can start... No, he has Dark Pulse. I can't do that. I'm going to go... I'm going to go for the... Um, that crit mattered immensely, because now I don't have a pretty... I don't have a really good wall for the Hydreigon anymore. Or the Heliolisk for that matter. I mean, the Heliolisk might run Grass Knot, so I'm not going to give that too much cred. But I'm going to Mega Evolve. I want to predict him to switch. I really want to predict him to switch. 
Nobody's just gonna stay in on a protect. I'm going for U-turn. Hopefully this person doesn't have balls. I'm going for the play. I'm making the play here. He's gonna switch probably into that Heracross. I'm gonna get some damage off on that. Oh, he didn't switch. He didn't switch. Oh, but I'm still faster than him. What am I talking about? I got, did I get a crit there? I did get a crit there, which is really nice for me. Um, little unfortunate though, that he didn't die. I have to go into Cerberus. Don't get a burn with your Scald. That'd be really bad. As long as he doesn't get a burn of the Scald, I should be fine. Because I am Scarfed Hydreigon, I can outspeed. Oh, don't get the burn. Mm, good. Alright, cool. So the Blastoise is down. I'm in with my Hydreigon. I can just drop a free Draco. Um, <clears throat> with my Scarf, I should be outspeed. I should be able to outspeed anything that's not Scarfed. Um, and we'll see who comes in here. The Heracross might come in here. I guess I could use this time, though, with my with the Heracross to figure out if it's Scarfed or not. This is gonna go for a bug type move. I can just go into Glagger. Wait a minute, is Glagger my Glagger is my other physical wall? So as long as I have Glagger around, I should be fine for the hair cross. And then I can get up my rocks against Glagger and um I mean I don't have a default ammo. He can't oh, this thing might be scarfed. Oh, it's time to find out. Get over here is a pretty good wall against Glagger, plus I can earthquake it. I can earthquake a lot of his team except for Hydreigon. Uh he might go for, he's probably gonna go for U-turn here. Does he have a U-turn? Yeah, he's he's the scarfed one. I gotta be careful with that one. And here comes the... what's his name? Unless Heolus packs HP Ice, I'm pretty sure the Hydreigon's coming in. And I don't think HP Ice will be able to knock knock out um, Glagger in one hit, even though I do have that chip damage, which might prove to be important. HP Ice does do a number to my team, too. I do have... Um, I really don't have anything, actually. With Quagsire dead, it's actually a huge problem. I can't really set up with my vision anymore. I'm gonna need to use vision to knock out the Heracross and hope, um, hoping he doesn't knock me out on one hit. Hopefully there are no more crits that affect the game this badly. Even though the crit did help me knock out that Blastoise, it was still a two shot if I brought if I brought in my Hey Dragon, so that crit didn't really matter. Cause I would've locked myself to Dark uh, Dragon Pulse. He does go to Heliolisk here, screaming he has HP Ice, but I can't do anything against it. Um, because Vision doesn't have enough bulk to take Thunders from this thing. Not well. I could calc it, I guess. Let me calc it up. I'm afraid of this thing being choice specs, too. Let's find out. Um, Helio. No, come on, spell right. Heliolisk. Are you special attacker? Versus um, Gligar. Are you physically defensive? See, HP Ice does pretty much guarantee a knockout. Oh, but that Earthquake can kill in one shot with no attack investments. This is if it's choice specs. So we know that's a, that's a thing. So I have to go into Vision here. I don't need Vision. I should be able to win. I need to find a way to get rid of that Hydreigon. Uh, not Hydreigon, Darmanitan. He goes for the Hyper Voice. Is that what he's choosing to lock himself into? Because if that's the case, then... Um, I can't thunder wave it. If that's the case, I'm just gonna go for psychic here. Oh, you wanna get out, Molly? All right, let me let me get the dog out. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You wanna you wanna stay in? Right, ah, what happened? I was gone. Oh, he went. Mm, that's annoying. Ah, uh, it's really bad, actually. Okay, so we went to Hydreigon. Welp. I guess I'm gonna spend this turn going for Dazzling Gleam. I don't have any safe switches. I'm in a I'm in a really bad predicament since my Glag uh, since my um Quagsire died. But that's that's another thing I want to say. I don't think Quagsire makes the best special wall. You need something that will tank more special attacks more often. Molly's just freaking out back, back there. You want to go out now? Would you? Can you believe this thing? Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a Draco. I have no reason not to. I wonder if a Dragon Pulse will kill. I can count that up too. I don't think it's gonna kill, but you know, why not? Hydreigon, you you Choice Scarf versus Hydreigon, you you Life Orb. Let's just say that. Um, Dragon Pulse. 
I do like the idea of having U-turn on this thing just because, um, oh, Dragon Pulse does kill. Cool. So I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Pulse here. Guarantee some damage. Um, because this will knock it out. The problem is, though, I, I mean, I'm Scarf, so I can knock out any two things. I can knock out anything with one shot. Alright, so that kills the Hydreigon. Um, especially since I'm modest. I didn't even calc if I was modest. Ooh, this thing's probably Scarf, too. Oh, it sucks if it's Scarf, because it's literally one point away from me. Or two points away from me. So I have to go in to get over here at this point. Alright, we're back, guys. She went for the Stone Edge here, getting a solid 16% off on my Gligar. I'm gonna go for Roost here, because if this thing, if she goes into Heliolisk, I have a very small chance of surviving an HP Ice, and if I can survive it and knock it out with, um, with an Earthquake, then that's gonna be amazing news for me. Hopefully he does, hopefully he predicts me to switch out, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake here. If she predicts me to switch out and goes for the, um, Hyper Voice again, that'd be amazing, but if not, then... I'm a dead Gliger. But if this play works out for me, then I'm, I'm in a very good position. Alright, she does go for the Hyper Voice, and I knock it out with Earthquake. That's a dead Heliolisk, which is great news for me. And I still, I can tank anything that both of these can go for. Darmanitan could probably just, like, hit me with a Flare Blitz. I might even, like... Darmanitan's a Scarf one, so it's better. Yeah, here he is. So, I'm just gonna go for the Roost here. I might be able to come back in this match. Darmanitan can outspeed me though, which is an issue. So if this thing if this thing gets knocked out right here, then that's game. But hopefully he doesn't burn me with a Flare Blitz, which I don't think it can. It has Sheer Force. Sheer Force boosted Flare Blitz is a problem. But we'll see what he goes for here. And um, I can actually see what they lock themselves into using my Beedrill's Protect, which isn't an issue. Um, this is a really long first match, but at least it's recording, which is... I've been having troubles, guys. My computer's been screwing the hell up when it comes to Hypercam. It's a free program, and that's what I use to record. Yes! Bad! I Did I go for the roost? I did go for the roost. That's actually great news for me. I can't... Obviously, I can't toxic the, um... The Heracross. But I can get up my rock, since he's just switching around nonstop at this point. Was that thing Life Orb? Yeah, it's Life Orb, so I, I don't know why I didn't catch that last time. I'm gonna roost again, though, because I need to be at full. I don't really have much of a choice here. She's trying to think of her best play, which she saw she. They are trying to think of their best play. Um, and Stone Edge, that's it. That's all she can do, which is great. So I can just go for the rocks here. Late game rocks, I know, but 25% on this thing is no joke. That means this thing literally can't switch anymore. And I could probably just continuously earthquake here. It's going to be pretty stally, but... Oh, and I think she knows it. Because this thing's life orb too, um, I actually outspeed it with Hydreigon. Uh, and I think she knows that too. I'm gonna tell this person to be sure to check out the video. I'm gonna roost here. Um, yeah, just because I want to stay as full as possible. No, that thing's not gonna be able to touch me. I'm just gonna earthquake again. I can just keep doing this. Dang it, I roosted. Whatever, I don't want to stall this match out any longer than it has to be. Uh, I don't think this person is interested in watching. That's, another, that's a really annoying thing that happens on my channel, is that people are only interested in watching the video if they win, which is understandable, but I really want people to check out my videos. You guys should really spread them out, because I think I do a pretty good job. Um, I mean, I, that might be my arrogance speaking. But I think, the, I think we've been working really hard to keep the quality high. And I've been, like, doing a lot of work, like, laddering up off-screen so that we don't have the most uncompetitive matches. And, um, you know, things happen, but hopefully this isn't the worst. So I know that they're scarfed, so I'm glad that this thing's being taken care of now. It can't switch out anymore. I'm surprised it didn't switch out, though. Um, I feel like Megahorn, if you went into Darmanitan, got off a huge amount of damage, and then finished me off with something like, like, um, really anything else. I'm gonna go for Roost here. I'm gonna try to preserve the. I'm not. Well, not even trying to preserve the 3-0. I just don't want anything crazy to happen. Like I don't want to miss a Draco. I don't want Drill Run for some reason not be able to kill. I'm just trying to keep myself as safe as possible. All right. So it goes into Darmanitan. I do get the Roost here. She was really hoping that I would go for the Earthquake and I wouldn't knock her out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Earthquake now. 
<clears throat> and this Heracross dies upon re-entry. Well, it doesn't die upon re-entry, but it pretty much does, because I can knock it out with Earthquake. Flare Blitz did a lot of damage. No burn, though, because of the Sheer Force, and that's game. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look for another match, guys. I guess we'll be back when we find one. Oh, never mind. We already found one. I'm going to tell this person good luck. And I'm going to tell them to check out the channel. And let's see what happens. Let me just go ahead and earthquake this thing and move on. So this person has dope. Oh man, they have the dope. They have the Chesnaut. I love Chesnaut. Chesnaut's such a great mod. Um, so Sharpedo, this thing is a really standard threatening team. And I still haven't seen any Victinis, which I'm really surprised about. Um, I don't know what to start with here though. This thing, does it have a Rapid Spinner? It doesn't have a Rapid Spinner, so as soon as I get up my rocks, it's GG. But I want to get rid of that Chesnaut first. Um, Beedrill's going to put in a lot of work against this team. Um, so, I'm thinking... Johnny Blaze... I'm, I'm going to actually start with Queen. Because Beedrill, I want to Mega Evolve right away. And um, she already left, so let's get out of here. Because the sooner I Mega Evolve, the better. And, um, 145 Heracross. He's not even using a Heracross. I'm disappointed. Mm, what else? My win condition here. Let's see. I can close combat this thing. I need to paralyze this thing. I mean, I'm physically defensive, so I should be able to take at least one crunch from, um, a Mega, Mega Sharpedo, and I should be able to Thunder Wave it, completely crippling it, which will give me a chance to close combat it here. She does start with the Rotom Heat, which is, um, not the best thing in the world for me. I am going to Mega Protect though. I really just need to Mega Protect. Even if even if they get a safe switch into whatever they want, that's pretty awesome. Oh, about me recording. Let's see what they go into. She goes with a Will O Wisp, so I know she's not scarfed. Um, Quagsire doesn't give a crap about Will O Wisp, so I'm gonna go into Quagsire. Uh, Scald Burns would be nice against literally anything in this team. I would actually prefer if I don't burn the the Haxorus. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Oh, she was saying that me being a YouTuber is awesome. Um, I don't want to burn the Haxorus or the Porygon. I'd rather paralyze them because I feel like their speed is going to really be the end of my team. Um, I just recently reached 100 videos. So, what's the double going to be? He's probably going to go into Chesnaut. So, am I, should I... With a special tag drop, I feel like Queen should be able to survive anything. So, I'm actually going to make the double into Queen, and then I can just shoot a free... Um, the free... What's it called? A uh, free U-turn, that's what it's called. I'm going to tell this person about the channel. I'm trying to get more subs, guys. I got 77 subs! Was it 23 more, and we reach our goal of 100, and then we can start doing um, like live streams and giveaways and stuff like that. Oh, this person is great. Thank you. I like this person. They're a nice person. Um, I'm running into a lot of nice people here in the UU tier. There's a Sharpedo, which is great news for me. Um, the speed boost is going to be a problem because I won't be able to outspeed it, but I am just going to go for a U-turn here. Um, oh, cool. She's going to check out the channel. Or he slash she is going to check out the channel. Hopefully they don't predict, protect and predict me to like switch out on the protect. Because that would be amazing. Oh, cool. They switched to Rotom Heat. That's even better for me. Because I get a free 30% off. And I wonder if Service will be able to finish it off. Um, I got I got a Calculus. Um, Hydreigon, Choice Scarf versus um, Rotom Heat. Uh, I got a... I hate when I have a stupid computer. It's not big enough. It's a very... Guys, I'm, I record on a tablet because I don't have a computer. I'm not the richest person in the world. OU defensive, Draco. Draco does 75 if it's not specially defensive. And I also... He can't really touch me for anything. So I'm actually going to go into Cerberus. Uh, am I better going for just two Dragon Pulses, though? Wait a minute. It's at 70 health. So if I can knock it out... If I can knock it out... Awesome... If I can knock it out, then I don't have to worry about it later. And uh, Draco, Draco's gonna do a lot of damage in it. But then again, Dark Pulse 
can hit the um, hit the dough blade if it decides to come in. But I can just chip down dough blade. Dough blade's not really a worry for me. Even if it goes for sword stance. Um, sorry guys, I dropped something. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Um, even if it go for sword stance, it won't be able to touch uh, my quagsire because of quagsire's um, unaware. I gotta remember it as unaware too. Unaware is so great. Draco, oh, it's specially defensive. That's what I was afraid of. It does go for the Volt Switch though, and now he knows I'm Scarfed, so he's gotta he's gotta be very wary of that. Um, <clears throat> he's probably gonna. Oh wait, a minute, he, he probably doesn't know I'm Scarfed. I do naturally outspeed you. I think Max Speed does that. Yeah, Max Speed should outspeed you from Jolly or Timid. Uh, Draco does a huge amount to that Rotom Heat, meaning as soon as I get up rocks, it's dead. So my goal is to get up rocks really soon so that the Rotom Heat can't come back in. Um, he's probably going to set up a bunch of spikes on me, but I do have one, two, three Pokemon that aren't even affected by spikes. But my, my Beedrill is, and so is Infernape, and I want to keep those as healthy as possible. Here comes a Sharpedo. Um, I know unless he Mega Evolves, the Iron Thing, won't, the, um, the, the Ice Fang won't kill me, but let me see how much uh, I'll do to a Sharpedo. Let's just say Mega Sharpedo, just, for, just to make sure. Um, minus two special attack and modest. Let's see. Draco Meteor does still about do about half, and I can't switch out here. If it does about half, uh, it's still too much. It's still way too much. Ice Fang can knock out my uh, thing too. Dopey, Dopey, are you useful, Dopey? I did knock out one of its special attackers. I am pretty much knocking out his Rotom. I'm actually gonna have to go back into Dopey here. Maybe I can get a Scald Burn. But I can finish it off with Mach Punch when the time comes. The lag is real today. It's like a solid 10 second lag. There's the Ice Fang. I'm glad I didn't go for the Draco. So here, what should I go for here? I, I'm gonna have to go for Toxic because I can stall this thing out easily. Toxic Recover, Stockpile. I can stall it out until it dies. I can, and if don't, if somebody needs to be sacked, then I can finish it off with uh, Mach Punch easily. So let's see what his move here is. Um, the Dough Blade, as much of as as much as it is easy for him to switch into Dough Blade. Oh, the Chesnut. That's even better. That's really good for me actually. Um, because now he can spike his shield all he wants, but it's not going to be doing a lot of work. Um, physically, def uh, physical attacker usually. I can do go in to get over here. I can go for defogs. I can go for stealth rocks. Earthquake. I can go for roost. Earthquake's not going to be useful against this thing, but with the toxic up, this thing is on a timer. It does have Drain Punch. I, I, man, it's so cool. Chesnot, is Chesnot, as soon as he got Drain Punch, I was so happy. I'm going to go for the rocks here. Um, he can Leech Seed me if he wants. I do still have more reliable recovery than he does. And with rocks coming up, he has very limited switch-ins uh, to his Sharpedo and his... Oh, here's a Spiky Shield. Um, see, that's a problem. He can't Spiky, spiky Shield while the Toxic's up. Because now um, it's going to do a lot of damage to him. So I'm going to go for Earthquake here just for damage. Make him die faster. Uh, this thing, they usually run Spikes, Leech Seed, Wood Hammer, Drain Punch, Spiky Shield. Um, mine always runs Spikes, Drain Punch, Leech Seed, and Spiky Shield. And it's a great physical wall. I saw, I need to add Chesnaut some more of my teams. I think I had a team that had a Mega Aerodactyl with... Um, oh, here comes Earth. Yes. Yes. Yes, this is good. This is very good. Because now you can Sword Zant all you want. I'm just going to keep Earthquaking. I go for another Earthquake. And he can Sword Zant. It's not going to do much to me. Um, I should probably go into Dopey, though. I am unaware. Now I'm going to go for another Earthquake. I can go to Dopey on the Shadow Sneak. Oh, there's a Shadow Sneak right there. It does nothing. All right. And uh, I do need to make sure I stay healthy, even though, yeah, he might go for another Shadow Sneak, so I'm actually going to go for another Roost. This is a pretty, this team's pretty good. It does have a couple weaknesses, like Snorlax is a problem against this team, because unless uh, unless I keep Infernape alive, ooh, that was a crit, oof. Let's go for another Roost here. Um, 
unless Infernape stays alive and I get some prior damage on that Snorlax, it's a problem because it has, it has a lot of sets that can really wreck my team. Like the Curse, Rest, Sleep, Talk, Curse set, um, combined with like Earthquake, Body Slam, Knock Off, that's a problem for this team. Um, let's see what he goes for. He goes for, another, he goes for Sacred Sword. That's interesting. I'm just going to finish it with Earthquake here. Because I can still Roost um, against the Chesnaut. I just have to make sure I can switch in on the Chesnaut. Which is easy. As soon as the Chesnaut comes out, I just go directly into my Gligar and go for the Roost. Because that way I can preserve my Gligar for... Oh, he went for another fighting... He was predicting me to go for Roost. That's cool, though. This thing's gone, which means I can freely shoot Toxics now. I have no worry about shooting Toxics. Um, he could go into... The, what's it called? The Sharpedo here pretty easily. Because he can just go for a free Ice Fang. Oh, he goes into Haxorus though. Which is a problem. A very big problem. I don't even outspeed it if I go. I have to go into Vision here. Hopefully he goes for the D-Dance. If I go into Vision, I can paralyze it. Uh, Thunder Wave. I'll cripple this Haxorus and I can be able to finish it off with my... Um, there's a D-Dance. Now, unless he runs like Crunch, I don't think there's a way that he can knock me out in one hit. Because Vision's really, really bulky. It's got a really high defense stat and a pretty solid amount of HP too. Plus, I can Dazzling Gleam with Haxorus next turn. Um, there's a Dragon Claw that does about 50%. There's a T-Wave. Um, now, I don't think it's going to do that much to Dopey. And now I can get a free recover off on my Dopey. And uh, start just Scalding things. I can even Stockpile too. If I really want to stall things out. Here goes another D-Dance. This is actually going to be a huge problem. But I, what am I talking about? I am I actually beat him. He has no recovery. And his best attack is probably Dragon Claw. It doesn't look like it has our age. Um, let's see. It got fully paired. I go for a Scald here. I just keep Scalding. I, have, I can literally just do that. I can, I can even go for a stockpile if I feel like that could be necessary, especially against a Drain Punch um, Chesnut. I might just do that. I'm going to go for the stockpile. I'll get like one or two up. Oh, that... Oh, Mold Breaker. Whew, I bet you guys were yelling at me about that. Holy crap. All right, well, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Mold Breaker. That was a huge misplay in my part. I could have saved that thing. I could have... Oh, I could have saved it so well. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Here I can just go for... This, he has no reason to save this, so I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse here, just in case he decides that he wants to stay in. He wants to stay in. Um, I can knock out a, a few things with a Dragon Pulse. Like, this Rotom Heat's already dead. I already got out of my rock, so there's no worry about him. Um, if it's Scarfed Porygon Z, I can at least get off some a pretty solid amount of damage with the Dragon Pulse. And um, if this Sharpedo wants to Ice Fang me, it won't one-shot me with Ice Fang. So I can... I can um, get off a lot of damage with the dragon with the dragon pulse, and then I could switch into something like um, not Quagsire. I don't want to switch into Glagger either, because Glagger's gonna take a lot of damage from the Ice Fang. Hmm. I might even have to sack something though. That's gonna be annoying. I want to keep this alive for the Porygon Z in case it's not scarfed and it's specs instead. Chesnaw would I would wear it down a lot faster if I can kill it with a. Uh, Oh, here comes the Porygon Z. There you go. I guess now is a good time to find out. It's really the only reason why I wanted to keep it anyways. Let's just go for the Dragon Pulse here. If it's faster than me, that means it's Scarfed. And that'll be, that's really handy to know. I can come in with, um... Oh, it's not Scarfed. He goes for the Ice Beam, though. The, ooh, and I tank it. All right, Cerberus. You monster. Was it Life Orbed? No, it's Leftovers. Oh, whoa, that's a lot less threatening. <laughs> And he has no priority in his team, so there's no way for him to really take out Cerberus. But with this Porygon out of the way, it makes this battle a lot easier. Alright, cool. Man, this is a pretty... This, this video is going by pretty smoothly. I enjoy it. Um, hopefully out of my computer doesn't mess up this recording for some reason. Uh, here comes the Rotom, which is a sack. Uh, he should have done that on like a, like if he needed a safe switch. I don't usually agree with that, but... Um, I mean, to each their own. If that, if that, um, yeah, if Sharpedo comes in, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go for Dragon Pulse. There's no point. Like, he can protect if he wants to get a speed boost. At that point, I don't mind sacking off the Cerberus, because I can just go into Vision and uh, Thunder Wave it. 
But that thing's out of the way because it was predicting me to switch. So I think that's game. That's a 5-0 in my victory, which is really nice. Uh, I mean, unless that unless this thing is specially defensive or for some reason tanks it, I'm just gonna go for the dra Dragon Pulse here. Dragon Pulse cleanup. I like it. this is awesome. I like Cerberus. I like Hydreigon's such a good mon. I honestly like he looks really cool to me. I think he needs some sort of mega to be better. And in my opinion, any pseudo legendary that's not a solid OU mon needs a mega. Volcarona, Volcarona with a mega would be so cool. Is Volcarona pseudo? I'm pretty sure Volcarona is pseudo. Um, All right, let's see what happens here. The lag is real. Like it's a really, it's really bad today. I think I think I have to stop recording today. It does 56%. It goes for the seed bomb. Oh, it has seed bomb. I forgot seed bomb was even an attack. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go into Johnny Blaze because I love that Pokemon. The lag's not too bad. I'm gonna go for the overheat here and call it a game. That's fine, buddy. Uh. GG. Be sure to check out the channel when you get a chance. Thank you. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Um, thank you all for watching another episode of Team Preview. Be sure to send me your teams, your rough drafter teams, what you desire me to build with. I'm actually going to um, start planning a team right now because I had a uh, Mr... Nathan Woolhams wanted me to build a team using Mega Gyarados and Tornadoes or Thunderous T, which are two of my favorite mods. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. So be sure to check that out later. Um, I recently had a battle with Pokeaim. You can find that on the channel too. That was a lot of fun. Pokeaim's my hero, if you guys don't know. Um, we started a new Nuzlocke. It's Pokemon Fusion Generations, where Pokemon are fused together. Like we have a combination of what was it, Heracross, Heracross and Soto Wodo. That's one of our new Pokemon, and that, that's with Mr. Spacewalk and Skabao. So it's a lot of fun there too. So be sure to check out the videos, and I'll see y'all later.